Hello everyone. Today I am going to discussing about the game theory problem for n into 2 game by graphical method. This method I will be explained with one example problem that is given in the below. Let's start the solution. Here observe that one. Player A having 6 strategies and player B having only 2 strategies. This type of game we are calling as n into 2 game which means player A having more than two strategies that is n number of strategies and player b having two strategies first step is in this method is we have to find out the row minimum and column maximum after that we have to find out the mini max and maxi mini values here row minimum values are for a1 row is minus 3 a2 row is 3 a3 row is minus 1, a4 row is 1, and a5 row is 2, and a6 row is minus 5. Similarly, we have to observe the column maximum values that are for b1 column, maximum value is 4, and b2 column, maximum value is the 6. Then we have to find out the mini max and maxi mini values what do you mean by mini max value maximum values among the row minimum values which means maximum value among the minus 3 3 minus 1 1 2 and minus 5 among these values maximum value is the 3 so next we have to find out the maxi mini value maxi mini value mean minimum value in the maximum values of the column so that is column maximum values having the 4 and 6 among this one I have to find out the minimum value so 4 and 6 minimum value is the 4 so our maxi mini value is the 4 here we have to observe that one mini max value is the 3 and maxi mini value is the 4 so which is mini max is not equal to maxi mini so given game having the no saddle point and following the mixed strategies so in this method next step is let y be the probability of selection of alternative one by player b and one minus y be the probability of selection of alternative two by the player b next we have to find out the expected gain function of player b with respect to the each alternative of player a for this, first we have to draw the tabular column. In the tabular column, we have to observe that one. First column is A's alternative. Here, player A having the six alternatives. So, we have to write the six alternatives. Next column is B's expected payoff function. For this, first take the A1 alternative, which having the 1 and minus 3 values. So, our expected payoff function will become 1 into y plus minus 3 into 1 minus y. Similarly, for a2 row is 3 into y plus 5 into 1 minus y. So, next for a3 row is minus 1 into y plus 6 into 1 minus y. Next for a4 row is 4 into y plus 1 into 1 minus y. For a5, a5 row 2 into y plus 2 into 1 minus y. Similarly, last row that is a6 row expected payoff function is minus 5 into y plus 0 into 1 minus y. Next, we have to solve the, this equation. For this one, we will be get the gain values. For this, we have to find the value of the gain when y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. So, just we have to substitute the y equal to 0 value and y equal to 1 value in the expected payoff function equation. Let's see if the y equal to 0 for s. First alternative payoff function, just we are substituting 
y equal to 0, here value will become minus 3. Similarly, in the second pair of function, just we are substituting the y equal to 0, we are getting the 5. Similarly, in the third one, so we are substituting y equal to 0, we are getting the 6. In the fourth strategy, we are substituting y equal to 0, we are getting the value is the 1. Similarly, in the fifth one, we are getting the 2. And last one, sixth one, we are getting the 0. Similarly, we have to substitute y equal to 1 in the these pair of function equations, we will be get these values. Next step is plot the gain functions on a graph sheet by assuming a suitable scale. Here gain values are for a1 alternative minus 3 comma 1 and a2 alternative 5 comma 3, a3 alternative 6 comma minus 1, a4 alternative 1 comma minus 4, a5 alternative 2 comma 2, a6 alternative 0 comma minus 5. Next to draw a y values that is 0 comma 1 on the x axis with suitable divisions. Next to draw the gain values on the x axis with suitable divisions. Here maximum gain is 6 and the minimum gain is the minus 5. Okay, so next to draw a line for a1 alternative gain values. For this, join the minus 3 and 1 values. Here, minus 3 is at y equal to 0 and 1 value is at y equal to 1. So, join the these two points. So, we will get the a1 line. So, let us say that is the line L1. So, next to draw a line for A2 alternative gain values, for this, join the 5 comma 3 values, where 5, equal, 5 is y equal to 0 and 3 gain is where at y equal to 1. So, just to join the 5 and 3 points, we will get the A2 strategy line, that is the let us consider L2. So next to draw a line for A3 alternative gain values, for this join the 6 and minus 1 points. So next one is the, so draw a line for A4 alternative gain values, for this one join the 1 and 4 values. So next to draw the line for a5 alternative gain values that is the join the 2 and 2 points. Next to draw a line for a6 alternative gain values for this join the 0 and minus 5. Just to have to draw the join the points at 0 and minus 5. So next step is find the lowest intersection point in the upper boundary of the graph. Let us consider, so this is are the upper boundary of the graph. In this upper boundary, we have to observe the lowest intersection. See here, here one intersection is happening and also here also one intersection is happening. Among these two intersections, we have to find the lowest intersection point that is in the upper boundary of the graph. So this is the upper boundary of the graph. Here we are having the two intersection. One is here, another one is here. Among this one, low intersection value is this is the. So this point we are calling as the mini max point. So this is the mini max point. So next we have to observe the at the mini max point, how many lines are passing. See here. So this is the my mini max point. Here two lines are passing. So what is this, this line? So one is the L2 line, another one is the L4 line. So here L2 and L4 lines are passing at mini max point. So then we have to consider the player A strategies that is 2 and 4. Now my pair matrix is 2 by 2 matrix that is 
layer A, we are considering only two strategies that is A2 and A4 strategies. Similarly, player B having the only two strategies that is B1 and B2. So now my payoff matrix will become 2 by 2 matrix that is two rows A2 and A4 rows, two columns that is B1 and B2 column. And next step is let us consider P1 and P2 are the probabilities for selection of second and fourth alternatives for the player A. Similarly, let us consider Q1 and Q2 are the probabilities for selection of one or two strategies for the player B. And we know that when the equations to find out the P1 and P2, Q1 and Q2 values. Similarly, here V is the value of the games. We know these equations. Here A11 is the 3, A12 is 5, A21 is the 4 and A22 is the 1 obtaining from the 2 by 2 payoff matrix. Here we have to substitute the all A11, A12, A21, A22 values in the above equations. We will get the P1 is 3 by 5, P2 is 2 by 5, P1, Q1 is 4 by 5, Q2 is 1 by 5 and value of the game is 17 by 5. Thank you.